Hello friends and welcome to Storytime with Teacher Julian. Today's book, The Adventures of Gary and Harry, A Tale of Two Turtles. This book was written by Lisa Matsumoto and the illustration or drawings were done by Michael Furuya, Gary and Harry. So this book is brought to us by the letter and also by the letter. So, if your name starts with the letter G or H, this book is for you too. So, let's get started. Ready? Gary and Harry. So, I'd like for you to take a look at the cover and try to remember what the story is about. Now, we have the names Gary and Harry, but remember what the whole story is about. It is the story of two turtles and they go on an adventure and they encounter a problem. Something happens. And what do they do to solve that problem that they have? All right, let's get started. Gary and Harry. The Adventures of Gary and Harry. Now, for my sisters Lori and Leigh, thank you for your love, wisdom, and support, Lisa. For Kobe and Cameron, just because, Uncle Mike. So, this book was written for these special people. Mm -hmm. Dedication. Very nice. Very thoughtful. Deep in the sparkling sea, Gary, the green sea turtle, and his best friend, Harry, look at his, his nose or his beak, Harry the hawkbill turtle, played in their ocean home. Each day they would swim to the surface and happily dive beneath the waves. Does that look fun? Swimming in the ocean. Gary and Harry loved their carefree life in the sea and liked to visit their many ocean friends like Olivia the octopus, Lori the lobster, and even Herman, the grumpy old hermit crab, who was really nothing but a big softy under that crusty old shell. Olivia Octopus? Is it Lori the Lobster? And there is that crusty crab. Does he look crusty to you? He says he's a hermit crab. For Gary and Harry, each day was a great underwater adventure. Some days, they would explore deep into the dark underwater caverns. Look how dark it is. It's so dark. Look, you can barely see anything. Other days, they would search for long-lost treasures buried deep in the hulls of old sunken ships. What did they find? Look at that. I see a gem, some kind of a diamond, and a gold ring. Treasures indeed. When they wanted a good laugh, they would visit the crazy clownfishes who performed in Harold Harlequin Shrimp's Spectacular Sea Circus. These are clownfish. And 
and Harold Harlequin. I do believe that's him right there. Looks like a good time, right? One day after their morning adventure, Gary and Harry were especially hungry. As always, it was difficult deciding what to have for lunch, since they had very different tastes in food. How about a salty seaweed salad made of fresh algae, Gary suggested. Algae? Ugh. Harry replied, making a face. I'd rather have a nice, tasty jellyfish. What do you think is going to happen next? Hmm? Let's see. You're right. His wish had been answered, for suddenly a school of jellyfish floated by. Wow! Look at all those jellyfish. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen jellyfish. That's a lot of jellyfish. Harry quickly swam up to the largest one and swallowed it in one big gulp. Gary expected to hear the satisfied ah, but instead Harry responded with a terrified ah. Harry was gasping and choking. That was no jellyfish he had swallowed. It was a plastic bag. Harry knew many sea turtles had died from choking on plastic bags, but he never once thought it would happen to him. Oh no. You see, he was choking on that piece of plastic. It went down his throat. Look, he has his flipper up going. Uh, 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 uh. Look, look at his face. So surprised and shocked and scared. They both are. Oh no, what are they gonna do? Harry desperately tried everything to remove the plastic bag, but it just wouldn't come out. His life flashed before his eyes. Luckily, Gary had just completed his turtle safety class and by using the Heimlich maneuver, the plastic bag flew right out of Harry's throat. Whew! That was close! Harry said while catching his breath, How did plastic bags get in the ocean anyway? How else? Gary answered. The humans. Well, they need to be more careful to keep their trash out of our homes, Harry said angrily. Gary couldn't agree with him more. So, you see right here? Harry couldn't get the, the plastic bag out of his mouth. So Gary went behind him and squeezed him right there by the tummy. And he was... Squeezed him and the bag... It popped out of his mouth. But he has to be specially trained to do this Heimlich maneuver. To be able to know where to push. Not too high and not too low. And just at the right pressure to make things pop out of the throat. It's a good thing he had his training. He saved his turtle life. So when... Harry was gasping and choking. Choking means you can't get any air out and whatever is in your mouth can't come back out the other way. So when somebody's choking, they usually make 
something like this to let people know that they, they can't they can't breathe and something is stuck something stuck in my throat I'm choking but they can't talk so that's why ah, 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 lets people know that you're choking that's what he did suddenly Harry's stomach rumbled all the excitement worked up his appetite well I'm starving he told Gary let's get lunch just then a beautiful jellyfish floated by hey Harry just what you asked for lunch look at his face look at both of their faces what do you think he's gonna say After what Harry had been through, suddenly jellyfish didn't seem very appealing. Maybe I'll try one of those salty seaweed salads. Gary's face lit up quickly. Well, I know the perfect place to go, he said excitedly. And with a flick of their flippers, they quickly dove through the crystal blue water, eager to enjoy a nice, delicious, relaxing lunch. The end. The last pages show the Pacific green sea turtle right here and the Pacific Hawksbill Turtle and the Day Octopus. Here's the Banded Spiny Lobster and Anemone Hermit Crab and Hermit Crab Anemone. So good they named it twice. There is the harlequin shrimp and the clownfish. There is a jellyfish or sea jelly. This says marine debris, which is a fancy word for garbage that's in the water of the ocean. Plastic and bottles and nets, anything that's garbage that's in the ocean. So friends, I was thinking, you know the plastic bag that um, Harry almost choked on? I wonder if other animals in the ocean, I wonder if they could get um, caught up in them or swallow and choke on them or anything like that. What do you think? Do you think other animals in the ocean, sea creatures, could get hurt by plastic or garbage that's in the ocean? You know, I use plastic bags like this to put my letters in that we use for our book reading all the time. Um, what could we do with plastic bags like this once we're done with them? Could we throw them in the garbage or, you know, in the, in the ocean? What can we do with a plastic bag like this? We know it's a plastic bag, but for them... It could be like this, open up, fill with water. And look how it's clear. Fill with water, bobbing up and down. What could we do as being responsible? I know what you're thinking. Yes, I have my recycle box, which I can put my plastic bag, along with the other plastic bags I have, see? I have plastic bags, pieces of paper, they all go in my recyclable and then I can send that out so plastic bags won't go into the ocean won't go into places where animals will be and hopefully they won't be able to choke on anything like that that's something I can do and something that you can do very simple get yourself a recycle box put it in there and recycle all your plastic metal and paper you can do it. I can do it. You can do it, right? 
So friends, what do you think Harry will do the next time he gets hungry and he sees a jellyfish? What do you think he will do? In the book, he said, well, let's try, let's try the algae seaweed sandwich or seaweed salad, right? Um, but say next time he does want to eat a jellyfish, what could he do to make sure that it is a jellyfish? Hmm. Could he maybe swim up to it and poke it first to make sure that it's not plastic and that it is the blobular jellyfish? Yeah, I think he could do that. Maybe he first time he was like, ah, and eat it. And then next time he'll be like, mm, oh yeah, delicious jellyfish. And then he can eat it. Sound like a good idea to you? Yes, sounds like a good idea to me. All right, friends, that's all I have. I hope you enjoyed this third reading of uh, Gary and Harry, The Adventures of Two Turtles. And until next time, I will say goodbye. Recycle. Bye.